Hello everyone, welcome to Nietzsche Channel from Cambodia. Today we will talk about how I set up render sitting for this CG broadcasting. So first thing I need to set up is object buffer and internal compositing because I need to compose this artwork more in After Effects. So now let's jump to our project. So the buffer number one will be the buffer for the whole scene. So I can set up for one object and I can copy the tag buffer to the other object. So now let's start from our tag. Let's turn on the tag fracture and let's start from letter O. We can right click and we go to render tag compositing okay and then we go to the object buffer and we enable buffer ID number one so as I mentioned uh, the buffer number one will be the buffer for the whole scene so now we copy the tag to all the other objects you can uh, click on the tag buffer tag a uh, compositing tag and we Press Ctrl and drag it on. Okay. And then after that, we adjust. We adjust the ID buffer letter. Uh, in here for the cloner in the object let's turn off the camera first in here for the null group we not put the compositing tag in null we put the compositing tag in the object in the null group okay and here also Copy the tag to the object. Uh, for this one cube, uh, I think that I don't need individual individual for each cube, so I just put the compositing tag in now. Okay. And barbecue also, I copy it in the symmetry and floor okay so after I drag all the compositing tag to all the object so now let's adjust individual buffer for each object so in letter R we go to object buffer so buffer number one is for the whole thing and the buffer for and the buffer for extrude all is buffer two. Okay, so we just enable the second buffer. And for the box behind the extrude all, we will set it to buffer three. You just or you can just enable this one, and you can change the number to number three. Okay. And for extrude E. For extrude E, I put the individual buffer to number two also, the same as extrude R. Okay, text box. We put in buffer three. Letter P. So I mean that extrude uh, the extrude letter we will put in in buffer two, and the text box behind it we will put in buffer three. You got it. I hope you got what I mean. Okay, now we done with our letter. Let's go to sweep. The signal. Okay, sweep here. 
the line on the floor here so we will set in in buffer for and for the now foot take video left side in here so we will put different buffer because we need to set up we need to replace the video in each plan so we need to have individual buffer okay so for this plan we set up in uh, buffer number five and here number six number seven number eight and number nine okay so this plan on the left side one two three four five we have different buffer okay this one buffer five six seven eight nine sorry i i uh, i think that i missed something is the plan on the left side oh sorry the plan on the right side i not yet set up each individual buffer so i can start from here is number nine so for this one i can go on from buffer number 10 okay one eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay so this plan they have two buffer also buffer number one is for the whole thing and buffer ten is for each for this plan okay Okay, now let's go to the signal. We can set up a to buffer 15. It's also the same. Oh, because it's uh, in symmetry, so I think that we don't necessary to put it in each individual object. I can drag the tag to the symmetry. So buffer 1 and 15 for this symmetry, this boss object. And for the cube, all the cube, I don't need to set up uh, each buffer in one cube. So I set up for the whole scene of the cube. So I can enable it and set it to buffer 16 the barbie g here also buffer 17 and for the last one is floor we set it to buffer 18 okay so before i go to the next step so first let's test how our buffer is look like so i can uh, go to edit render setting and i can check multipass check and in multipass here i can select object buffer and we as you can see at that moment we have 18 buffer so i have to select it 18 times one two
Okay, so after we got it 18 times, 18 before ready, we're not done yet. We need to change it to a different group ID because as you can see, even we have 18 object buffer, but its group ID is the same. It means group ID number one. So we need to select it all. Okay, and then we change group ID in here. Two. Okay, now after we adjust the group ID, so we can test it. We need to make sure that is that our buffer is set up correct or not. So we can go to output and change it to current frame, and we enable our mob camera, and we go to the last frame because the last frame we saw all of our element. And then we just uh, render to picture view. We not check sale because uh, we just test it. And after that, when we go to in here, you will be see the history. And if we go to layer tab, now we got our multi pass that we have select on it because this is a physical render, so it might take. Uh, more time okay now we almost render it take it took me three minutes and 36 seconds to render in the per frame for this whole scene okay and now let's go to the layer tab to see is that our multi pass is correct or not so if I click on the reflection as you've seen this is the reflection for this whole thing we can go to single pass to see and this is the shadow and specular now the important that we want to know is the object buffer is that we set up correct or not so as I mentioned buffer 1 is the buffer for whole scene so now as you can see the Y area is the buffer so we will alpha it in after effect and we can drag out the black background from this scene and buffer 2 okay here now is correct so buffer 2 is the buffer for our extrude letter buffer 3 as you can see this is Y only area in this text box behind the letter okay and buffer 4 okay is the buffer for the line on the floor buffer 5 okay so buffer 5 is the buffer for the screen that on the left side and this buffer 6 is the second screen buffer 7 third screen buffer 8 and buffer 9 we don't see anything because for our scene okay go to view for our scene is uh, not so out for the scene buffer and buffer 10 is for the, the, the right side screen 11 okay as you see that this screen is black in here and uh, why in here it not anything matter because as you see if I because in here we have glass object uh, above it in front of it that's why it's showing showing like that okay and this is buffer 11 12 and 13 and 14 nothing happened if nothing happened like that like buffer 9 and buffer 5 and buffer oh we have buffer 15 we have this area you can uncheck it 
in when you render out you can uncheck buffer you can uncheck buffer 9 and buffer 14 because our sim setup not show this last frame these two plan on the left side and on the right side uh, we not see it but if you don't want any confuse you just can set up it it doesn't you don't have any problem okay and go to the buffer 15 it's the buffer for the switch the signal sign here okay and buffer 16 is the buffer for the whole shoe uh, as you can see that it's here it have gray background white and gray it does it's not have completely white like that because uh, this shoe contain glass material you can see this is glass material so glass material is transparency a little bit not completely white because glass is transparency okay okay so buffer seventeen is the buffer for our bg the bar behind our scene and the last one buffer 18 is the buffer for the floor okay so i think it's correct now so let's go to our our view tab okay let's close it first and then i will set up the eternal compositing for the object that we need to replace the video or the picture in it because when we replace the video or replace the full text in after effect it will be our full text will be should be 3d layer so in order to get the position of the 3d layer the correct position so we need eternal compositing from cinema 4d so what I need is I will put I will put the full tag in this screen this both side so I will I need eternal compositing from each screen okay so let's go to okay first uh, the right side first okay so here this screen I can select it all and right click and uh, render tag and eternal composite okay so we got this tag is the now tag of each screen okay eternal composite for the left side we go to this object this plan we select it right click render tag and eternal compositing okay we need to compose background background in after effect so i need eternal compositing for this space also for make me easy to identify the position for this scene so uh, you can for this background you can right click and put eternal compositing on it or we just can create a null object and we can rename it bg and this null object we set we set its position behind the scene as the background in here so we move the null here put it on the same position ok we can turn off here here this is the null bg that we create just the same pole and then we can right click and put eternal compositing on it ok so we will got this null object position 
in after effect. Okay, now we finish with our eternal compositing. Now let's go to uh, edit render setting and we will set up render setting again. We will talking about it again. So object buffer is correct. We have 18 buffer and in renderer I choose physical and then I go to physical tab in sampler I use adaptive sampler quality you can use with high or medium but I use just medium because my spec render my spec machine is not high enough for something like high it will take a lot a long time sampling I choose 4 to 5 as you see and ambient occlusion I don't put any value in here because I don't I don't check a fake ambient occlusion in here and in advanced mode quick preview I use all mode okay and now let's set up the multi pass for it so we use shadow here I already check it if you not yet check it you can click on multi path and just check shadow now we don't have in here because I already check it and I don't use ambient occlusion I will I will I need ambient occlusion but I don't render in this scene because it will take a long time if I put ambient occlusion in here and choose it so I will render it out in different file so I can delete it first and then reflection specula okay and we can go we can play around with okay we, we use deep shoes and refraction because we have material glass so we need a refraction and anything I can use a with material specula and direct specula and indirect specula so we can test it again to see how its material look like or if sometimes we just put it but when we render out we don't have this kind of pass okay and illumination so I will test it again I can I can test with the the first scene so we can test it again so now let's see when we render in the first scene it's full frame like that how long that we will spend for render it out for one frame in the last frame in the last frame we use 3 minutes and 30 6 seconds so now for the first frame let's see how it will take time as you see that in my uh, spec I just use uh, Intel Xeon and with the RAM 24GB and the processor is uh, 12 core with 24 CPU okay and the, ad the adapter that I use uh, the VGA graphic card I just use with a little the small one is um, NVIDIA G4 GTA 10 and 50 Ti okay this is the the small one if now if you choose with the highest uh, adapter and the big processor the render it out the time that you will spend is will um, little than me okay now we finish for the first scene uh, it took 5 minutes and 28 seconds okay you can see in 100% it look nice okay okay now let's check with our multi-pass multi-pass so 
in this is indirect spatula okay it really have nice we can compose it more in after a while <laughs> and this is indirect this is indirect spatula for the glass material is really nice this is direct spatula and this is reflection we only see in here because this is reflection is for the glass material and this is reflection shadow spatula okay deep shoes illumination material spatula okay i think that material spatula is not nice it's not necessary so i will not render for render for it okay now we can go to the view tab again and go to edit render sitting again and in our my type pass i don't need metric spatula i can delete it so yeah i think that's all for our can drag this ball into a ball for easy looking easy organize so, so this is the multi pass that I render out this shadow pass reflection pass spatula refraction direct spatula indirect spatula illumination and deep shoes okay and we have 18 buffer okay and we go to physical render and I can read you for you again okay so now I think that's all for our render set setting so now we can check in output we use this preset and we change frame rent to our frame we have 125 frames between 5 seconds and then we go to cell we check it and choose the file the destination file cell in format here we use png okay and here we go to find where we need to render our file and we put the name for it okay and then in multipass i use format png also okay okay and after that we save the file for compositing in after effect so we check save we have to check and use the data check and we save reject file so it will contain the file dot abc okay if you guys don't know about how how we import the compositing project file to after effect you can check in the link in the video description i have created one video that talking about that okay now that's all we can close it and we can press render to picture view it will render this thing out from the 0 frame to 125 frame but now before I uh, click on the render to picture view let me create another file for render ambient occlusion okay and then we save our project and then I will create another project file cinema 4D project file for rendering out just ambient just ambient occlusion pass so i can save us new project and i just create the simple material to override on it and in it i go to edit render city i can delete all the multi pass in here Okay, and we check material override and we drag the mat for it now if we render test even we have all this kind of material but it will override in one material is the simple material here 
because it's not necessary to put the buff uh, to put the material on it because what we need we only need the multi pass occlusion so we choose in effect here and we check ambient occlusion and multi pass we use ambient occlusion in here okay and in sale we save it in another destination file so I already created the new folder for it is ambient occlusion you can see ambient you can check sale or not sale it's not necessary because this is not important what we need is the multi-pass inmate of ambient occlusion here okay and compositing project file is not necessary because we already created it for the main scene so if I check ambient occlusion in the main file and render out ambient occlusion path, it will take a long, long time, a lot of time. So if I render out in two different project files like that, it separates the time and it makes me easy to organize. Now if we go to window, now we have two different Cinema 4D project files. This one is for ambient occlusion for render out and this one is the main scene and we check for edit render setting we have a lot of multi-pass shadow reflection spectral etc something like that and we have acting buffer and we use physical render and this project file we use material override just simple material and we choose multi-pass only ambient occlusion okay now let's render it out for these two project files so in the main scene we can go to for the main scene and in render here we go to in render tab and we add it to render shoe okay to make a shoe render for it and then we open the project cinema 4d project for ambient occlusion pass okay the pass is only for ambient occlusion i don't forget and don't forget to use battery override for it and then go to render and we also add it to render queue now we have two different cinema 4d project the first one is the main scene and the second one is the file cinema for render ambient occlusion pass okay and then after you finish set up it and we can start rendering now it will render out you not see it in picture view because it is in render queue okay so the main scene is in progress after we finish the main scene, it will go to render the project Cinema 4D of ambient occlusion pass. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I see you in the last video that we will be talking about how I compose this artwork in After Effects. Okay, thank you very much. Stay home and stay safe.